I wanted to talk today a little bit about uh, some of these stone formations that a lot of people are claiming are artifacts and they are indeed not artifacts. There's a lot of bad video going around right now on YouTube. People showing these rock collections saying they're effigy stones or pocket effigies or something. And they're just naturally occurring stones that are interesting. But people see all kinds of little bears and eagles in them and stuff. This is a really good example. These three stones are a really good example of how you can get uh, caught up in that. This is an artifact. This is a, a nutter stone, basically used to crack nuts or maybe for pigments. The little pockets in the stone are naturally occurring. Now, yes, the Indian did utilize this, but you turn it around, you look at another one. This is a naturally occurring pocket in the stone. This was not modified by humankind. This, these were. You see the abrasion on the edges? That's from where they missed when they were pounding away. This has been, it's a naturally occurring stone that has been modified by humankind from use. Here's another one. I found it at the same spot in the river. I was on a kayak uh, paddling along the river, and I found this, these two stones in the same place. Now, these two, they have a little pecking in there, so they were modified a little bit. This one, no, that's natural. And these were used. You can see where they were pecked. You see the abrasion along the edge. Now, in another location, not too, too far away from where I found those two artifacts. I found this. Now, this is the natural stone, the natural deposit. This is not an artifact. Uh, this is what the Nutter Stones were before the human, the before Indians worked them. This is the same deposit, the same sediment layer, but this one did not tumble in the river and it was not modified by humankind. These pockets are naturally occurring in the stone. When this sandstone was deposited, there was something in the sand that was softer. It could have been organic, it could have been mud or something. There was something in here that was softer material and it simply eroded away. But that is a geofact, not an artifact. It's very easy to be fooled. These are artifacts. Now, I'm going to take the GoPro camera and I'm going to go back to that spot in the river where I found these and we're going to do a little more looking around because these stones are pretty heavy and where I found them there has to be a site there because they didn't travel very far from where they were used. It could just be that there was a natural tree there that had nuts every year and everybody came there to, get, to harvest the nuts or it could be that there actually was a village there so I'm going to grab the GoPro, and we're going to drive to where I found these, and we're going to look around a little bit.